Booyah! Welcome everybody to the Sausage Boys podcast. This is your host, the South Coast Poster Child, aka the mannequin from Newtown. I go by the name of Jackson Grant. And that right there on the ones and twos, that's a man you know and love. He goes by the name of the Terry Crews of Sydney, aka the Steamroller. Karim Diallo. How the hell are you doing, my dude? Doing good. Hell yeah. And we got a very funny guest. Um, very funny comic on today. Uh, the, it's it's the hilarious Jack Knight. Yeah, thanks. We're the coffee boys right now. We are. We've like all got our Joe in hand. I do want to point out, I don't think yeah. that's the name Steamrollers, mate, brother. I don't. That's, really? That's the noise. <laughs> that's the steam train. Yeah. Steamrollers are What does a steamroller sound like? Because there's been a lot of... I'm, I've Blah. been... Probably. Yeah, honestly, like just general industrial noise. You yeah. Know I mean? yeah it's, it's more just... It's a diesel engine and yeah. then the sound of crushed gravel. So I don't know how you're going to do that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to... Like, I'm going to change it. No, it's good. No, I'll, I'll start yeah, doing that. I mean, I don't, I, don't mean, I don't mean to fuck you up or nothing. I don't mean to come into your house and tell you how industrial machinery works. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's good. I've been getting a lot of hate on the steamroller recently. Yeah. I've been doing it for years. Steamroller. And then all of a sudden, yeah. everyone has a problem with it. I'm not yeah. saying it right. It's corny. Yeah. It's making everyone uncomfortable. <laughs> no, they're gonna, uh, they're apparently, gonna, I'm a loser. They got a photo of you on the steamroller subreddit for sure. <laughs> like, yeah, like, like, just edges. fucking it up, man. <laughs> <laughs> Giving uh, us a bad name, everything's worse. It's not good, you know. And they're not a people you want to cross, I'll add. That's not how they're they not. sound. That's not how they sound. That's not how they sound at all. How's <laughs> your, what's your best impression? What's uh, your go to if someone's like, what's the thing that you pride yourself on? I don't really do impressions. You don't do impressions? My, my problem, I don't do them because my problem is to be good at impressions, you have to first master having like a pretty neutral voice. Yeah. And okay. I don't. Have that. You're doing an Are accent. You got a cartoonish no, voice already. Yeah. You're doing like an Australian guy. Well, that's just yeah. That's my, my default is so far from standard deviation. Like to do accents, you got to get back to standard deviation and then change it. Oh and, yeah, yeah. And I just can't be fucked, honestly. You know yeah. what I mean? You'd be like, like, yeah, mate, I'm a bloody British guy. <laughs> yeah, can you Something imagine? Like, that? like, it's, <laughs> like a sweet. No, well, that was great. We'll <laughs> was try good. again soon. I know. I know. <laughs> I know <it's laughs> but no, I just yeah. I, I'm, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not one for impressions. I'm really bad at them. Like, yeah. Horrible. Yeah. Like a Swedish guy trying to do any impression would just yeah. sound yeah. crazy. Oh, yes. I'm from Australia. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hell, are you going, yeah. mate? It's no. Like, <laughs> no. Cause, yeah, because some some accents are just <laughs> so far away from the That's standard. That's true. You know what I mean? Like a Jamaican dude trying to sound British. It's gonna be tough. Oh, hello, unruly. Wargwan yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's so, so funny. I thought I was like so good at a British accent, like this one. Well, and I was doing on. this one in front of a mate, right? Yeah. And then he's like, oh, I thought you were just doing an Australian accent. That's your mate's fault. I'm not having it that. Was, he's a British guy, and I was yeah, like, I oh, you must have thought I was British. He's like, I, I thought you were doing an Australian I can get accent. close to British, I think. Okay, let's hear you British. Oh, fuck. Let's go. Let's go around the... We're going to go around yeah, the room right, British. But here's the thing. I just went down fish and chippy. I got myself a couple of points. That's good. I have a couple of points. That's good, because I think it's understated. You don't want to go too hard. You don't want to go too much. You just want to go down the road. You basically you? just want to go like this. That's like very thing. simple. Well, no, that's basically, you want to go a little bit like this. Well, the, the, problem with the, the problem, with, the problem yeah, with British is they have a lot of dialects. You know, you, you've got Cockney, you've got the other ones. Pause. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whatever the fuck the other ones. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, like the like, it, like you mean, Ooh, a, you hello. Mean, yeah, yeah, it's, it's true. Like the Beatles, Beatles one. Hello, Leeds. it's me, like Paul. From Leeds, yeah. yeah. Paul from the Beatles. Yeah, that's good actually. And that's Jimmy Griffin as well, isn't it? Is he it'd be making fun of the Beatles? <sighs> I don't know, man. I don't know. Is he? I don't know what that little guy's doing. <laughs> I know, like, Elson Powers is meant to be James Bond. And I didn't know that until, like, a, a year ago. <laughs> wow. Literally. How did you not... I never out? really put two and two together. Yeah. I was like, this is just a funny movie. And then, I don't know, it just clicked. I was like, oh, he's just making fun of... Yeah, James Bond. So, hello. <laughs> James Bond, this is... How would any woman find a British man attractive? Yeah, that's well, what that's he's the basically thing. They only put at. the attractive accents on the telly. You know what I mean? Like everyone yeah. goes, "Oh, British accents are sexy," and it's like you've not met the scum, though. That's true. Yeah. You've got to meet the scum before you make a judgment on the accent. Yeah. Because like I remember someone was talking, they're like, "Oh, I find the Australian accent so sexy," and I was like, "Do you?" And they're like, "Well, not now. <laughs> <laughs> you ruined it." Yeah. 
You ruined this for me. I don't know. I don't know if any accents <laughs> sexy. Like being on the phone with someone and just hearing a voice. I don't think it ever like works. You never like, damn, they sound hot. Really? Nah. You spoke to a Latina. Have you ever seen a Latina? <laughs> <laughs> No, I just imagine. <laughs> I've never spoken to a Latina, but I imagine I see them with the with the with the um, stop signs, and I'm like, I imagine what I she would say. I don't think we like. have any in Brisbane. They occupy the same space as like Minotaurs for me. Like I have no oh, day. Really? I've yeah. only heard of them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think they only exist in Spain. I've seen them on the internet. Yeah, you've yeah. read parables I'm not, about them. I'm not yeah. convinced. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it could be. Like, Is, oh, the Latinas, do they exist on the Gold Coast? Maybe. I don't go to the Gold Coast. Yeah, go They're the not Gold my Coast. people. And, like, I, I, like I, I don't live in Brisbane City. I don't live in the city. Like, yeah. But that said, that where I live, there's fuck all white people. I live in the Vietnamese what? suburb. Is that by design? That's by price point. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Ooh, That's true. where I can afford the. Really? Live. They're going for the... the what is it? A nice? Is it a nice area? Vietnamese uh, people are measure. Look, nice it's all right. It's a lot better than it used to be. It used to, they used to be moving a lot of heroin through that <sighs> town, but um, they're not moving heroin so much no more. Now yeah. they're now they're moving. Uh, Ban Mies, uh, brother. Harold Harold Yin. Ah oh, man, it's the Ban Mies. They're Yin. fucking moving these things. They're yeah. delicious. I went for a Ban Mies in Banks. Are you familiar with Bankstown? Yeah. Um, I was born in Liverpool. Oh, yeah, right, there you go. Yeah, but um, you left early. Early, yeah. yeah. I used uh, to go back for family and stuff, but they're all oh, dead yeah. now. Dang. So I don't go back. <laughs> I was getting a barn me yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> um, we went to Bankstown to get a barn me with, like, some friends. Yeah. Because apparently it's the best barn me spot. Yeah. While we were there, also, I was asked a friend what this special, like, perfume or cologne was that he wears. Yeah. And he's like, I don't know, it's like a ladies' one. I was like, it's fine. I guess I'm like acclimatized to being in the inner west too long. Yeah. I go to like chemist warehouse and I asked them for this one and walked over and this lady looked at me like I was absolutely insane because I wanted to try on the women. oh, women's, the women's yeah. thing. And I realized pretty quickly you're, not you're out west. No yeah. 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 I'm not, not going to fly here. This isn't Kansas anymore. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. She. It was like she looked at Wait, me. Wait, why do you want to smell like golf for? And I was like, yeah. You want to smell like a boy? And then she was like, no. <laughs> We're an accent show, by she, the way. Just to, right. Uh, <laughs> she was like, no, this is this is a lady's perfume. Yeah. And baby, I was this like, is for oh, ladies. No. You want men's over there, baby. It's over there. And she goes, you want it on the skin or the paper? And I was like, oh, on the skin. Oh, damn. Because you got to see how it like melts with your thing. Yeah. And then she goes, is this a gift? And I said, no. And then she sprayed it on the paper. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty funny yeah dude that's funny <laughs> just against your wish if you were just funny you'd get the paper and just like rub it on your skin and yeah. then smell it I, yeah <laughs> like my local bar me place like i like i where i live is out near like an Arla and that my local bar me place i always used to like they go chili or no chili and i'm like i want the chili oh you're a you're spicy I love, boy I love the chili. yeah like, you're a spice the man chili and every time, it just wasn't that hot. Yeah. And I took a mate of mine who's Korean, and I was like, you order the banh mi. Yeah. Then I got the fucking chili. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They would not give it to me, eh? They're like, this yeah. white dude, he doesn't know what he, uh, he's asking for. <laughs> yeah. I like, know yeah. what I'm asking for, brother. <laughs> it's not that fucking foreign anymore, man. I'm not, you know, like, it's it's chilly. Yeah, that's true. It. I grow on my own. You grow your own chili? chili? Yeah, fucking Why? What do you, you mean, that, boy? that much into spice? Yeah, well, I just don't want to pay for things, mate. Damn, chili. That's the thing about You need chili that much. Well, that, here's the thing about vegetables. If you grow them, they're free, cunt. Well, you know what I mean? That's People true. are buying them. I don't that's think they true. understand. I, I, that, that's one of the things that bothers me. Everyone's like, oh, there's a cost of living crisis, but no one's gardening. Yeah. What are you doing, mate? You yeah. should be garden maxing. <laughs> I said nice. to my housemate about having <laughs> sunblock recently. He was like, sound effects, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> I said um, to my housemate, um, like about like whether he has sunblock, and he's like, "Why do I need sunblock? We've got an aloe vera plant in the backyard." Oh, Jesus! Yeah, Which right. is like that's cra- yeah. that's that's next level. <laughs> that that's is, yeah, yeah. Insane. That's pretty good. That's yeah. beautiful. Is he using it for like lube and stuff like that as well? <laughs> Isn't, isn't Imagine like making your own lube. Sticky? God doesn't like that. <laughs> isn't that gel? Like, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Aloe vera is sticky. That's, it's sticky. That's bad. I dude. think that's like Nuru gel is aloe vera. Really? I think. I like how we're all, all going to pretend we don't know what Nuru means. I think I've done this a few times. I think you guys are lubing up more than me. 
Really? We're lubing up? You're, you're lubing not lubing up? up? You, you don't need looped? to. No, I'm not. It's a like l- a pool <laughs> when you <laughs> when, <laughs> splash, mate. When you have a head this circular, you know, uh, <laughs> when you got a silhouette this round. Uh, <laughs> but no, I just, I, 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 yeah, I'm not lubing up that much. You're not lubing. I'm not lubing. Yeah, you're not growing your own lube either. You just got chilies. I reckon you could. I reckon you could make your own. But no, I grow heaps of stuff: chilies, pumpkins, pumpkins, lettuces, all sorts Whoa. of shit. Whoa. Rose, all my, if you buy herbs at the store, your brain dead. Like you're a proper mouth breather. Right. If you've got land and you don't grow your own herbs, yeah. you're stupid. That's mm. fair. Every time I see someone pay for rosemary at the store, I lose respect for them. Yeah, immediately. right. Immediately. Yeah. So you don't even have to grow your own rosemary. Take yeah. a jog. It's everywhere. <laughs> Steal some. Like it's in people's front yards. Can't yeah. Just nick it. That's Take true. a little bit of rosemary. Yeah, grow yeah. up. Well, the same could be That's said true. for lube, you know. Like, Our bodies kind of make that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, tr- uh, uh, that's true. You know. It's a new approach, though. I do like that because there is no excuse for people to be complaining because there's stuff everywhere. You're hungry? Go plant a yeah. tree. Yeah, go fucking punch a cat or something. Like, yeah. there's food. <laughs> there's food, man. There's food out there. You're just being too precious about it. There's you fish know everywhere. I mean? There's like water. There's like... Mate, the pound is putting heaps of these things down. You know? Yeah. Like Ooh. <laughs> there's caves. There's, there's tunnels. You yeah. can like I go think you've been uh, hanging around the Vietnamese a little bit too much. If, uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Hello, folks. Hello, folks. I was doing this long before I moved there, brother. <laughs> <laughs> that, they actually well, start. They got that from me. Man. <laughs> When I moved into the suburb, I brought that back to Vietnam. They were like, "This." We came across this Australian guy who was eating dogs, and we're going to try it out back home. When I when I moved into my suburb, I could tell they were like, "Oh boy, here come the whiteies!" Like they're going to gentrify the suburb. You know what I mean? Then you pull out a dog sandwich and like, okay. As soon as like, as soon as I like started trading vegetables with them, they're like, "No, he's one of us. He's poor." Oh, true. You know what I mean? It's a barter economy out there. Like I went next door. I was like, "You guys want some pumpkins?" I grew some. Pumpkins are like, oh, he's one of us. Get him in here. <laughs> Invite Just him. like a cat drumstick. <laughs> <laughs> How you folks going? <laughs> no, he's good. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, man. <laughs> uh, how, how are they? What else are the Vietnamese in your area getting up to? Uh-huh. Do you ever Whatever go? Whatever they want, I guess. They're, uh, they're nice people. They're yeah, lovely. yeah. At this um, barn me place, there was like a toilet, like back. Uh, you had to go like through like back alley kind of section. Okay. And it was like Diagon Alley mode, and then getting into the toilet, <laughs> there was just a guy oh. taking a shit with <laughs> the door like not closed, probably. No, I respect then, that, man. And yeah. then next to that was a toilet, not even in a stall, but <laughs> with um, no lid on it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so like, yeah. It was like a squatty one. Like, yeah. you meant to, like, squat on the seat and do the doo-doo, but there was just shit, like, caked <laughs> on the back. Uh. And I needed to pee really bad. I just didn't. Oh, you, just didn't. Wa- you didn't? You didn't? You dropped in a number one. You don't even need a squat. It yeah. was disgusting. It was that bad. Yeah. You, you don't even need a toilet one. to drop a number one, dude. Yeah, drop a number one in the you bush. Do, you do in this area. Man, no, I was, in, uh, I was in Perth. And I was coming back. I don't think they have toilets in Perth. Man, I was I was coming <laughs> back state. from doing this gig, and Old I had city. to piss so bad because I'd been on the booze, and yeah. I like went in. There was this alleyway. I was like, I just got piss in the alley. Yes. Not good because as soon as the piss come out of my dick, the fucking motion light went off because <laughs> it was a dark alley. And as soon as I started pissing, floodlights come on, and yeah. everyone could see my cock and balls. <laughs> <laughs> Just immediately illuminated. I'm like, oh, fuck. I'm so like, it was the urine leaving that yeah, actually like, set it, it off. Was, I, I don't know. I reckon there was a guard watching the cameras. He's like, wait, wait, wait got wait, him. There yeah. we go. Because I couldn't back out. The piss was happening, you know. You just gotta ride, you've got to ride the train at that point. I, I suck it back in sometimes, nah, pause. You'll get cancer, brother. You can't is that, do that. Is that what happens? Because um, I go, I'm, I've, I've been down a few alleys in my past. It's not good for you. And I see, usually I'm in the alley, I'm doing my business, and then a lady or there's a person that walks and I whoop, yeah, nah. suck it in, wait for them to leave. <laughs> nah, I'm started, I'm started, brother. You don't... Really? You can't damn the river without consequence. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, it's not good for you, I can imagine. It's not good for you. You've um, got to let it out. We, we, You've never sucked a turd back in. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that's true. You know what that's I mean? True. Like you can cut one off, sure, but you can't suck it back in. 
you know. <laughs> Get back in there, fella. <laughs> um, when we were kids, me and my friend Jared would, he'd have like, a, he had a toilet upstairs in his house and downstairs. Yeah. And it would be like a C. <laughs> like you'd have to run from one side down the stairs along to the other toilet. Yeah. And we'd like pee in one and then have to cut stream and run to the other one to finish. And that has got to be so bad for you. That's bad. That's got to be... I used to... I lived in a share house, uh, like an old Queenslander house. I, I just piss out the window, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, honestly, I couldn't... Like you're in France during the... Um... Yeah, I just piss out the window. One time, the Sheila next door caught me, too. She, yeah, like, oh, we, lucky. 2 a.m. caught... Like, locked eyes. My uh, housemate was rooting her at the time anyway, so... Yeah. Yeah, it was all shook out. But what was she's just in doggy style. Well, <laughs> looks out. Well, like, Jack's the, they, they just knew each other. And like, uh, she, they, like I knew she saw. I was like, ah, fuck, sorry. You know, the next time I saw, her, I was like, hey, sorry, you caught me pissing out the window. Did, like, she, yeah, yeah, did she see? Was she cool with it? When, oh, she when just saw us. She looked away. She was like, oh, oh God, okay. Jack's pissing out the window again. Yeah, out the window. Yeah, you get drunk, you don't want to move. Man. That's true. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Yeah, is, you, is do, it landing do, on anyone? Have you ever? Do, like, I don't know if you've ever done like big road trips. But yeah. like a yeah. mate of mine, he used to do Brisbane to Sydney and back a lot. Yeah, and he just drilled a hole in the floor of the car, no, oh, no, Flintstone style, and just had he had a piss tube. So you just put the tube on and you just piss out the bottom of the car. So he tubes you, up. He tubes up, and so you'd be like convoying, and you just you'd be like, "Oh, his car's leaking," and then you're like, "No, he's." It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be like, oh, he's losing fluid. It's like, see. no, it's not car fluid. <laughs> <laughs> if you see this car leaking, don't go uh, squeaking. Yeah, yeah you it's know what I mean? Don't go peeking. <laughs> don't go peeking. Yeah, because yeah, that's fine. Like, you can just piss out the... But, yeah, turds... It's genius. Are, turds are the rough one. you got to stop for turds. <laughs> oh, that think? is genius. You save so much time on a oh, road That's what they do on, in rallies and shit. Where have you got to be? Where have you really got to be, though? <laughs> that's, what, that's what I say. Where have you got to be that, like... Mm. You've got to be at a genius convention. I'm running late for, <laughs> for the Nobel Prize right now. It's not hard to pull over. We're I'm running late about for the tube and funnel convention. <laughs> <laughs> like we're talking about seven minutes. Yeah. Worst case scenario. Yeah, but like Add seven minutes to the trip. My, that's my time, brother. You know what I mean? And that's valuable, you know? That's true. Yeah. If, you're, if you're stopping the piss, you're not grinding hard enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Piss out the floor or piss your pants like a man. <laughs> P- you know? Have you PP'd your pants for it, like recently? No, not really. I haven't PP'd my pants in a very long time. Oh, I haven't, I haven't, wow. Yeah, I haven't PP'd my pants in a long I've time. Definitely, I, have I went doo I doo my pants. You doo your pants? Yeah. Oh, when was dude. this? Jesus. Um, recently, I think I was like sick. I yeah, I think well, I was like sick. That I doesn't think I, count. And um, I just went. I was at work too. Oh no! And I just had to run to the bathroom. And, What's uh, going on? Okay, are you letting out a uh, a fart? What's happening? No, not not on purpose. What'd you do? Sneeze? Yeah. <laughs> Someone laughed. <laughs> yeah. Someone um, scary patted your <laughs> shoulder. <laughs> Self defense <laughs> mechanism. <laughs> Um, like no, an no, no. octopus squirting ink, just <laughs> yeah, just out of fear. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, your boss comes out. Hey, we got to talk. Yeah. <laughs> but it is oh. terrifying doing something like that. Like I'm yeah. 28, yeah. so it's like, yeah, this is prime territory. <laughs> What's beyond that? Yeah, you know? that's true. This is my. You're at the peak of anal retention. Yeah, yeah. This is the best time you'll ever have for sphincter yeah. tightness, 100%. and it's not going well. <laughs> What's it called? Kegel, Kegel, something. Kegels, like that? Kegels. Yeah. No, I think. Uh, yeah, I don't know if that's. I, yeah, I, I definitely. I'm doing it right now. Fuck, dude. It's probably our listeners are probably doing it right now. I, too. I, I, doing I right definitely now. think I piss my pants more than the average man. Okay. Mm-hmm. Because like doing army stuff, sometimes you just have to piss your pants. What do For you real? Mean? Yeah. Well, like if you're doing an ambush or something, you're not allowed to move. Yeah. Or like. You can't go to the toilet. So if you have to piss, you piss your pants. So you're yeah, in. The stand up and go pause. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, guys, pee break. Yeah, there's no <laughs> pee break. The yellow flag. Yeah, there's no. <laughs> the yellow flag. Brown flag. So, yeah. Oh, okay, we'll give it yeah. 10 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> they throw over newspaper. There's no breaks, you know. You just piss your pants. But they're like pissing your pants, that's fine. The real problem is like... Pissing someone else's. No, no, no. <laughs> the problem is is when you're downhill from a guy who's pissed their pants because you're like lying on the ground oh. and if you're on a hill, you just see like, you just see the trail of piss slowly coming towards you and you just have to pray that the ground soaks it up before it gets to you. You get that forbidden Gatorade, yeah. brother. Because like, know, that's pissing your pants is a problem, but like pissing on someone else's shirt is grim. Oh, like yeah. that's... Yeah. 
there was an old fucking photo going around that was crazy. Like the when when you wear like your ceremonial dress in the army, like your shirt, you tuck it in, but it like goes down to like fucking here. Yeah, it's a yeah. really long shirt. So this dude shit himself in ceremonial dress. <laughs> oh. But you don't shit your pants, you shit your shirt. <laughs> oh. it's like, that's a fuck up. <laughs> yeah. Shitting your pants, people can understand, but shitting your shirt? Your shirt, gee yeah. Whiz, you know, no, that's crazy. So you're in the reserves, is it? Used to be, used to be. But, uh, What's oh. ambush? What's that? So that's well, like... You, uh, you don't know what an ambush is. I don't know anything about the... No, uh, well, don't worry about it. You're not going to learn today. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I, ain't, uh, I ain't teaching you how shit. Would, how would you explain it to normies? So this is like preparing to if we're know. going to war. It's just, you just, you know, you're surprising people. You set up an area to surprise them and you kill them. It's really pretty straightforward. So you Boom. didn't actually do this as practicing? It's just practice, yeah. You're, just, you're training. Well, you, yeah, of course you're practicing. Oh, you okay. have to practice, I mean. Yeah. yeah. So you didn't serve, you didn't... Well, like, I didn't I didn't deploy, but... Oh, you didn't deploy. We'll move on. Okay, we'll move on from that one. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Please. I'm uh, paying myself Other a little bit. Other than a doo-doo. Hey, uh, well, no, I promise not to shit my pants or your couch. Are we going to war with anyone? <laughs> ah, probably not. It's all proxy wars. Okay. It'll we're not, we're not going to have to go to war, you don't think? It'll all be proxy wars, professional armies. Oh, okay. Righty, righty. That's good. So we've got don't nothing to this, worry about. I don't know if this is the podcast for socio... <laughs> anyway, this is the <laughs> serious a serious segment takes. now, and now we're going to be oh, like, yeah. Welcome, the, to the, uh, welcome to the Sausage Boys walk part. <laughs> what do the Sausage Boys really think about the Ukraine? <laughs> 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 Let's Believe find me, out. it's on wax. <laughs> <laughs> it's already on wax. God. We do get into it <laughs> inevitably. Maybe like the last ten weeks, we've just gotten into it somehow. Yeah, it happens. The Ukraine's been crazy because the whole thing is just like on Twitter. That's true. Like they're just filming everything. I it's haven't seen that much. I've seen maybe a guy get killed, dude, like it's, um, executed. It's crazy shit. I remember. Like, I, I, remember I haven't been keeping up with that TV show. Oh I man, showing it to me enough. I remember seeing my first beheading. Ooh. I must have been like. Six or something when they be- <laughs> what? No, yeah, when six. they beheaded Dan Pearl on TV. No, I don't Dan Pearl. Dan Pearl was like the Dan star. Pearl was the like first it. guy to get beheaded on live television, right? The he first was guy dude. to find the uh, G spot or the woman's pearl. I don't know. Uh, I don't even. I don't even know the female anatomy. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, they beheaded him on live TV, yeah. and I'll add they botched it. Of it wasn't clean, but like so. My parents never really watched what I was watching on the telly. Yeah, because yeah. like they were like, yeah, it's fine. Uh, but I was watching the SBS News. Children yeah. should not be watching the SBS <laughs> News, brother. This they show they show full beheading on FBS. Yeah, well, I was like 2 a.m. and they were like, "Oh, you know, view, viewer beware, we're gonna fucking show you this guy getting beheaded." And I was SBS like, "SBS used to be Twitter, <laughs> dude. Yeah, man, SBS was crazy. It's just like, naked foreigners and beheadings. It's, it's crazy, dude. Like flicking through channels, like flicking through the different news yeah. channels is crazy because it's like a current affair. So like this tradie's ripped off an old woman. And you're like, oh, that's bad. And then you go to Channel Seven, and they're like. The price of living. And then you go, all right. And then you go to SBS and go, babies, they're on fire. <laughs> and we're going to show you. <laughs> Zoom in. <laughs> you know? Look at this one. <laughs> Look at this bloke get hit. <laughs> yeah, it's nuts. It's like, watch this guy get hit by a missile. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, but because it's the SBS, they're so matter of fact about it. To like, mm. And if you watch closely, this gentleman's been hit by a missile. And it's just like red <laughs> mist. You're like, oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> they're so blas- like they're so laissez-faire about it. And yeah. like, and, uh, Obviously, the slaughter is continuing, and they're just like it's just a footage of like citizens being mowed down. Jesus, You're like, Jesus Christ! They're no. actually showing this. There's yeah. no blurring. No they blurring. They show the war footage. There's no blurring. They often blur, but you oh, know okay. what's happening. Yeah. Oh, okay, so it was blur. It's a blurred yeah. beheading. Yeah, I mean that's, <laughs> that's going to be the name of the episode. No, the beheading they did not blur. That wasn't blurred. No, because at the time they were kind of like, no, you've got to see it to understand what's going on. <laughs> you know, so you understand the magnitude. <gasps> Dang, yeah. yeah. You know? It's like they blur, like, the sword, but not the head <laughs> falling off the body. <laughs> In Japan, they just blur his private parts. <laughs> we'll, keep the, we'll keep the actual beheading there. We don't want to see a man's penis. For, for heaven, it's not a woman's vagina. It no. always, uh, look, I, I, I hate to talk about pornography, but it always yeah. does crack me up in the Japanese stuff when they zoom in on it. <laughs> it's more, <laughs> yeah, it's more Because it's like, yeah. you pixelated it. Why are we... <laughs> What's the point of zooming in, man? Yeah. It's all squares. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why the fuck are... 
Why are you showing me high def squares? This is, this is the biggest waste of everyone's time I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, I'm not so zoomed to, in, it's yeah. just a big pixel. Yeah, I'm not screen. even allowed to fucking see it. Don't zoom in. Yeah, yeah. Hey, check what you're missing out on. Fucking <laughs> thanks, fellas. Awesome. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> Yeah, it's true. It's silly. It's fucking pointless. Sometimes man. I'm like, there's some, there's some crazier stuff going on in this scene than a woman's vagina. Yeah. How about we blur some of the other yeah, stuff for going sure. on? Yeah, sure. Someone got yeah. pissed on, and that was cool. <laughs> yeah, how about we blur that? Yeah, absolutely. It's, well, you know, God bless them. everyone's got their limits. Yeah. You know, they do what they want to do. So, I'm how, not, how not, did, how did you feel something. when you saw the beheading? Oh, I You're know. six years old. Do, yeah. you, do you even understand? Could you kind of? Oh, I don't in? know. I, yeah, I guess I, I just internalized it. Yeah, you know, I, like every like, I like my I, I grew up in a like my my dad was a boiler maker. His dad worked like he ran a coal mine. His dad ran a mobile timber mill. Damn. You know so know they've seen mean? some beheadings. So 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 like I I I have so like my toxic masculinity scores are off the charts. <laughs> yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? I've got it. So like I internalize shit. I just like I don't feel I just put it away in that special little place, and then when you turn sixty, you drive into the ocean. You know, <laughs> like that's that's how I cope. That's yeah. that's what we do. Like, so, and do you reckon, that, do you reckon if you were driving into the ocean, and you need a piss. You're like, you're not pulling over. Yeah, you know? like, of course not. Pissing in the ocean's fine. That's a that's a null sum. You know, yeah. like. But so I just internalized it. I was like, oh, uh, fella got beheaded. That's not my problem. Uh, you know what I mean. And then you and then you get to like twenty five. You're like, I wonder why I get nightmares all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder how that happened. Yeah. Are you trying to break the curse at all, or you just? Wanna... I'm just not having kids. Oh, you're not having kids. Yeah, that's you're, the... you're gonna plan. It's ending with you. Yeah, the the, the yeah. bloodline has to cease. Like, really? We can't have we can't have more of this. We going can't on. have more of these, man. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm I'm getting aged out. This model is gone. <laughs> like, you're not allowed to you're not allowed to make these anymore. You know. <laughs> Like, they've got to have power steering and shit now. I mean, this isn't safe. We can't have it, you know? Yeah, we yeah. can't really sign this up for uh, for the road. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no pink slip for yeah. you, brother. You're fucked. Like, Six uh, or seven is crazy to see. I bet. See that. Yeah. I've it was seen. free to air TV. Yeah, God bless them, you know? And that, that was before, like... Or whatever. Well, uh, yeah, that was before we were old enough to get on that and show each other beheading videos True. and stuff, and, like the helicopter footage of them shooting people up. I've seen so much of that stuff. Really? Yeah. Have you, have you been like looking for it? Did that kind of like spark yeah. something? It's like, oh, I'm kind of into this now. Let's go looking for it. Nah, I don't really. Use, I don't. I don't know. I just keep running into it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's some kind of curse or something. I just can't, it just keeps happening to me. It's probably the people I hang around. They're like, hey, you see this fucking guy get run over by a tank? It's like, no, let's check it out. Let's check it out. <laughs> What's going on? So you're, and you're like, I'm a newscaster. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a news anchor. But like, I do think it is important that people see that shit or you just like don't know what's out there. That's true. Like there's so many people who just don't actually understand what's happening in the real world. Uh-huh. Yeah. You know, like people are like, oh yeah, Ukraine bad. Yes, but you need to see the footage. Mm. You know what I mean? Like it's bad. You yeah. know what I mean? Like you don't actually understand. You know, and you never like uh, you need to see it to yeah. fully nice. comprehend. You know, yeah. yeah. So it's, like, it's like when you see someone get like kicked in the shin or whatever. You're like, yeah, it can't be that bad. But when someone kicks you in the shin, you're like, oh my god. You know, yeah. It's yeah, you different. get that. You get that scooter, and then yeah. you just uh, see a scooter, yeah. and you start yeah. kind of getting shivers a little Isn't bit. That yeah. Weird, yeah. That's why scooters died out. I think. I think so. It's like it's like, not worth it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> same reason no one plays squash anymore. Everyone's ACLs exploded. You know, like uh, just. Fucked themselves out of the sport. It was too risky. Did you ever? Were you ever a scooter boy? Yeah, we were scooter boy, scooter so, pie, scooter broad. I had a scooter for like two weeks, and then someone called me a puff, so I stopped. <laughs> <laughs> you just, weren't even. You didn't even have your scooter at the time. You were just like, <laughs> I just. <laughs> I just blamed it on the scooter. Yeah. yeah. I'm so, just gonna evaluate everything I'm doing in my life. Yeah, stop wearing pinky. You sold your scooter. I had and to you make some changes. Just started to watching beheading videos. And, <laughs> <laughs> so I started riding my bike to school. Oh, you started riding your bike after that? And the, yeah, and so, but my the problem was I had that bike since primary school. When we bought it, it was red. Yeah. But the sun had got to it and gone from sparkling red to sparkling pink. Oh. That was a bad move. 
Yeah. You know? Um, yeah. So then, like, I think I lasted two days riding that to school before I took it home and we had to respray. We, me and Dad just spray painted it black. I can't. I said to Dad, I was like, can we spray paint my bike black? He's like, I was wondering how long you'd last. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, he was watching me leave for school. He's like, he's not going to make it. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to come back. Either dead or with a boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> this is what happened to my friend yeah, who uh, did he's that. At the he got beheaded. There's a choice to make. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Let's but see if he comes back more insecure or happy and comfortable with himself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's wild out there. What were they hitting you with? With a pink bike? That would have been hell. Yeah. I think that's worse than a scooter. It is, yeah. Yeah. It's that's way bad worse. As it gets. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, that's. It's rough. Yeah. <laughs> it's rough. Like I, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. It's brutal. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You might as well just it like it's it's not nice. Could yeah. you like boy called Suet a little bit and oh, make it look, like a sh- thing? Be like, yeah, say something about my bike. For sure, say man. Say something. Like, I like in, in school and stuff, me and all my mates, we were nerds. We were dungeons oh, and really? Yeah, we were dungeons and dragons guys. You're a loser. Through, yeah, really? Like, so we could all fight. Yeah. Because we lived On in, the board. No, no. no. <laughs> We, 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 <laughs> I think like uh, I think we had like three black belts among us. What? Because like we just that was how it was like, in 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 that kind of town. In I order to play Dungeons and Dragons, you, you had to, to have a black. If belt. you wanted to be that, you had to back it. Whoa! If you wanted to be a Dungeons and Dragons guy, yeah. Because like, if you want to play, you were going to get fucked with. You know, if you want to play Pokemon, 100%. you better know how to shoot a gun. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> and like you know, uh, experiences may vary or whatever. But like, yeah, my dad put me in boxing when I was fucking eight. Whoa! You know, so yeah. like, you got to be able to back it. You yeah, know? for sure. Damn it! It probably just comes like you go to Kmart, get Dungeons and Drags. It comes with a boxing lessons. Yeah, <laughs> can of mace. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, here's your gloves. Here's your dice. Yeah. <laughs> Some headgear. We, and we used to, every, every Friday after high school, every Friday was Dungeons and Dragons night. We would all go That's to my mate's play. We'd go play Dungeons and Dragons. And then when we were done that, we used to go into the forest near his house and just beat the shit out of each other with two by fours. Wait, what? The same group. I think this, yeah. is, a, this is a unique experience. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're just thinking about it. Now. So it's a universal thing. No, this is normal. Yeah, you know? yeah. Because that's what that was the kind of that was the schedule. Like we would we'd play Dungeons and Dragons, and mm. then we'd go like, like, ghost hunting in the forest. Like it, there was just a wild. Like it was just forest where yeah. that was, yeah. and then we would just fight each other in the wild. And then and then yeah. we, then we'd like have rest. Then we'd go. Do like wrestling in Harry in Harry's front yard and like choke each other out and shit. Damn, it was scrapping. So you had fantasy, fantasy fighting. Yeah, well you've got to level it out. Ghosts. Yeah, you've got to level it out. For it's sure. got everything. It's like you've got to work the mind and the body. True. And you with ice cold killers. Well, that yeah, black look, belts. So this those, wouldn't have been an easy fight. Some of those guys could scrap. For yeah, sure. they could. Yeah, absolutely. would have made you better. Oh yeah, look, yeah. You take your beatings, don't you? Because how far did you go with uh, martial arts or boxing? I, did I, you? I only ever boxed, but okay. I entered the amateurs. Nice. Uh, never got a fight, though, unfortunately. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I, like, the way it used to work is you would rock up and you'd put your name on the board with what you weighed in at and all the coaches would deliberate. And yeah. You'd either get a fight or you wouldn't. I went a couple of times and just never got matched up. What was it? You, people just didn't want to fight you or there's no uh, one to, like, match you? I don't know. Like, sometimes there just aren't enough people in your weight category, too. Right? So, like, it, that, that happens a lot, especially for lighter fellas. Yeah. Like, they're like, hey, th- there's no one who weighs what you weigh. You can either not fight or fight a weight up. Yeah. They go, oh, I guess I'll just fight a weight up. Gosh. That's how to, you get clocked. That's a, yeah, that's, you can get fucked up doing that. But yeah. Anyway. But, yeah, you got to be able to scrap, you know. And, like, that that's the thing. Like, now all of this stuff is getting accepted. Yeah. Like, Dungeons and Dragons, all that shit's super mainstream. And, like, I'm like, I'm... One part of me is like, I'm glad that this has happened for you guys. Yeah. But on the other hand, you should have to suffer. Like, <laughs> why aren't you, just, you suffering? <laughs> you just hang around Dungeons and Dragons places to try to beat people up, uh, cause some uh, problems. It's yeah, it's 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 a different world. I Do guess. you still yeah. play? <laughs> yeah, for sure. That's what I was gonna Every say. Every week, you find Every an, week. you find yeah. another group of people. Like you move city or something. You play Dungeons and Dragons with a new group. Uh. It's like, all right, we should wrap the game up. And it's like. All right, where are we fighting? <laughs> <laughs> you <Yeah>. just murder <laughs> these six guys. All right, where, yeah, where's the ceremonial fight after this class? <laughs> yeah, because you do understand the connotations. Yeah, just put it in your mouth guard at the end of the session. Great <laughs> session, fellas. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, you do get the, the connotations yeah, for... It's like pulling out a gun at the end of a Warhammer session. Like, hey, yeah. fellas, this was good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's do it for good, you know? Because I, d- I wouldn't even know where... Well, so you guys never... What, you never just, like, had fight groups in school? No. Well, I remember there was fight... We had, like, fight club at uh, school camps. Yeah, right. Yeah, I, these were the cool kids. I remember I legitimately stumbled across it as like, if it was actual Fight Club. Yeah, you're yeah. like six foot four. You would have been fine. I was tiny. Yeah, I was, and I that's was funny. really. I was a small skinny. kid too. I was a small. Sk- I was like, small boy. I was one of the shortest kids in my grade every year until the tenth grade, and then I grew like a little bit. Really, that's what you have to worry about. The growers, not, not, not the middler, the one that's like mm. at the bottom because they've got something going on. Yeah, they got some. <laughs> they got some. Fire. They got some do- yeah, yeah I, a guy I went to school with. He he was he's a short fella, and he does a lot of like karate, martial arts, and stuff. Jesus Christ, he can fight. Really? Holy, holy fucking Christ, yeah. What's the trick? What makes him so good? I don't know. He's an angry little fucker. An angry, he yeah, just, you've got that. Um, he he yeah. just, like, no hesitation. He just spazzes out. Or he fucking smashes you. Yeah. Uh, he's, he can he can put them together. God bless. Damn, a spaz is a good in a fight. <laughs> yeah, Imagine yeah. just, like, the, a high-level fighter who kind of spazzes. That's, like, his thing. Uh, like, it's just blitzing, you know? It's just blitzing. The, the only downside to it is if you can't get them, you get tired. Oh, yeah, you that's get tired, true. You get cardioed out, you know? So, but anyway. Going for this spaz approach. Because mm, the, the it comes the with Hulk. a scream. Ah! Yeah. Well, look, crazy yeah. works. It does. Crazy works for Crazy sure. Crazy works. Yeah. Like nine times out of ten, if you're fighting someone who just like doesn't know what they're doing, crazy does work. If you slap yeah. yourself in the face and go, yeah, even oh, the, even the, like, that's yeah. I've seen the kid that does that. Yeah. Usually everyone's scared. You yeah. give yourself a few slaps, they go completely nah, red. It's always weird to me. And then at the end of the fight, you pass out and you wake up and go, what happened? Yeah, it's all, that's always. That <laughs> what all, happened out there? It always weirds me out because like, why are you letting him do that? Just hit him while he's slapping himself. <laughs> Just hit him now. Why are you waiting? Yeah. Don't let him power up. It's not fucking DBZ. <laughs> Just fucking hit the guy. That is the nerd hucker, by the <laughs> way. Nerd hucker is... The nerd hucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but it's, like, it's like, why are you waiting? Just hit the dude. <laughs> yeah. You see Instagram videos sometimes where there'll be like a guy walking along around or like all the weird kids in like a high school yeah and the way they're like spaced out like one of they're all standing like anime characters yeah. <laughs> like like one of them's in the corner like <laughs> and there's one doing a crouch up on like a pole yeah. or something like that and i remember watching this fight and like he was, he was one of my mates he's finding this like this private school boy was trying to go him yeah and we we went to a public school and yeah. my mate had it tough growing up and they just went into that fight with different rule sets they weren't playing the same game. Yeah, I'm gonna kill that's you, a man. Problem, you know, <laughs> the isn't yeah. punching yeah. Like, they just like, like they, they, they were, the social contract was not oh. aligned. Yeah. So this guy, like, they were, like, he was like, "Come on, man, let's do it!" And he grabbed my mate by the shirt, and yeah. my mate just elbowed him in the nose, clean, <laughs> broke his nose. And As soon as he grabbed the shirt, he just went bang, and, and he went down, and he just kept hitting him like, "Oh, gee whoa, whiz. whoa, whoa, <laughs> really?" Yeah, he fucking got him, man. And like, because oh this gosh. this guy, this private school boy, was like, you know, like we'll have a bit of an argy bargy, we'll grab each other's shirt. Yeah, let's pull maybe, our sleeves up. Yeah, maybe yeah. get a couple we'll of shake good hands. ones in. Yeah. Like, do we'll do the form. Yeah, like as like we'll we'll do the appearances. Like, yeah. this is a show. Like, this is a demonstration of force. But that was not the game. He was my mate was playing. <laughs> he's, yeah. he's he's going into this with life or death strats. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're, yeah. The the private yeah. school guy is doing WWE. Yeah. This other yeah, guy yeah, is like, it. this is war. No, dude. He's doing WWE, and this guy's on prison rules. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is not, you know. Um, the difference is someone that like the WWE WWE guy. That's like someone with brothers. Yeah, yes, he's done it. They he know, know yeah. they know kind of where Dude, they off sit. him. He, you know, the yeah. dad's around, like, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, you never yeah, punch yeah, a man yeah. when he's down. They know all when that to sort stop. Of stuff. Yeah, no, yeah. this, this yeah. guy was running on prison rules. Yeah. Like, yeah. I've seen that on Twitter. The um, punching or the kicking, the head stomping when they're down. Yeah, oh, that's that, a that's scary the watch. <laughs> the showgun yeah. stomps. Yeah, that's a yeah. scary well, watch. Like, the, the, I, I love the footage of Khalil Roundtree, the UFC guy, who just kicks the fuck out of people when they're on the ground. Oh, what? Because well, <laughs> the rules are, you like the UFC rules. You're not allowed to kick someone in the head while they're down. Yeah, yeah. So he got around that by just kicking the fuck out of people's bodies. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> just kicking like full tilt mafia shit. Just kicking them in the fucking rib cage yeah. while they're oh. on the ground. Just doing like a river and, dance like, on their he's back. He's huge. He's yeah. like a fucking middleweight or something like that. He's yeah. massive, and it's like full soccer kicking dudes in the floating rib. And you're like, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Someone's gonna be like, yeah, we got to stop that. We yeah. can't. We can't it's keep brutal. that going. No, you're, you're allowed to do it. You're allowed to do that. You're allowed to hit, kick him in the body. Yeah, and it's like it's just nuts because people just have different ideas of what, like, I remember when I when I started kind of getting okay at boxing, I wouldn't say I'm good. I wouldn't really say I was ever good, to be honest. Right. But, like, I got to the point where, like, I could fight my dad. Oh. Like, I got to the point, like, we, we, we could fight and I would very feasibly win, you know what I mean? Did you ever do it? Oh, we, we, we fought once or twice, yeah. Damn, right, okay. But I got to the point where he's like, look, I'm going to level with you. I'm just going to start fighting dirty. <laughs> Dad was like, I'm going to hit you with my car. <laughs> like, you're getting too fit and too... I'm going to hit you with my car. Yeah. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, well, let's stop the arms race. <laughs> you know, like, put it there, fella. You that know? is a terrifying thing for a dad to... Because what age was that? Because you never want to... I would have been about 17 or something. When you yeah. can beat your dad, technically. Yeah, you yeah. can't have that. You yeah. find your dad is one of your brothers. Oh, <laughs> He's man. like, you employed one of your brothers it's to like... <laughs> yeah, it's brutal. So. Damn. Yeah, but, you know... That's the way it goes. It's a scary one because it's, 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 it's a passing of age ritual, like fighting yeah. your dad. Right. I don't know if that's it's a the, normal thing. But it's the young lion, like kicking out the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Old like lion. my dad fought his dad, and Bill. Could it, he beat him? Uh, I don't think he ever did actually. Because I saw my, a thing on Twitter. It's like, could you beat your dad in their prime, in his prime? Hell no. Oh, no. And I'm like, no way. I don't know no about enough. that, man. Yeah. yeah. I don't know about that. You couldn't that. beat him in his prime? I don't think so, no. I think the the result online was like, even no like, one could. Like, even even like when he was old, like, my dad was a born a cripple, right? His spine's all fucked yeah. up. Yeah. He's been on a, he's been an alcoholic his whole life too. So he's been on an... Oh, a, this is why you beat him, dude. Well, no, no, this is why I can't beat him. We oh. fought, like, he's been on a diet of beer and painkillers his whole life. He Damn. doesn't feel shit. Yeah. <laughs> It fuck, I cracked him and he didn't move, man. I was like, so. and I, I knew I could hit. Like, I knew I could punch. Yeah. Like, I, I, I had, like, I'm, I was not a heavy guy or nothing like that, but I knew I could. You could get a good punch and you've been I, doing boxing. I, I, I've been fighting. I knew I could hit, you know what I mean? And I got him good. I know what it's like to hit someone good. And I fucking hit him and he just didn't move. I was like, ah, let's go to the... <laughs> let's go to the pub. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, I put it there. It was just good. Yeah. And, and what had what happened every time, like, if, if me and Dad ever went to a fort, fight or something like that, Mum would just beat the shit out of us both. <laughs> yeah. She'd just come out and beat the fuck out of us. Both of you. Because you're not allowed to do nothing. Oh, that's she, true. Mom, you, would never, you would never, ever, like, ever, you know. So she'd yeah. just come and beat them. She's coming to elbow you in the nose. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit Co- you both when you're down. Yeah, hit him with the chair. <laughs> Come, <laughs> coming out of the kitchen with the steel chair. <laughs> it's like the, it gets on the top rope. So where'd they come from? Yeah. You just get like rock splash. <laughs> yeah, Doing like the classic like wind up punch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Coming off from the top of the ladder. Yeah. <laughs> Hell in a cell. Fucking. <laughs> Can't know about yeah. dropped. Yeah. No, God bless. But. Damn, fighting at home. We fighting with you. You said you had a lot of siblings. You're one of well, four, isn't the, it? My youngest brother's a lot younger than me. So we never really fought. Oh, really. damn. It's a bit too unfair. They're funny because well, just throw them around. I still hit him. It just wasn't a fight. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. It was more of a beating. There's no competition and, going on. But the on. other two were sisters, so it was kind of like... Oh, okay, yeah. Not really meant to do that sort of thing. They Were, were they yeah. tough? The older one was. Okay. They could scrap. Yeah. That's a bit annoying because you'd want to like be able to fight your siblings. I had a brother. Yeah. I have a brother. Yeah. And like we just grew up fighting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. WWE style, though. Yeah, yeah, Never yeah. Never crazy, but we were just fighting each other. When it's, I'd wake up, there'd be a fight going on. Yeah. I've got I've got my enemy outside. I'll be looking for him. He'd hit me with, like, a Randy Orton RKO <laughs> out of nowhere. Getting we're fighting. Yeah. Getting Batista bombed out of the bunk bed. Yeah, yeah. Remember I smashed him through, like, a glass window once. Yeah. We were just constantly fighting because that's all that was that's on TV. That's brothers, man. That's the it's, way it is. Yeah. Like, any time I meet someone and they're like, yeah, I've got five brothers, it's like, I'm going to leave you alone. Yeah, you get <laughs> Like, not only have you been fighting your whole life, you've been doing gang warfare. Oh, yeah, like, of course. Like, five brothers. That would just be hell. It's You've right. got to come in from all directions, boys. Yeah, like, like, literally. It, it's the projectiles, too. You know what I mean? Yeah. People are too, There's artillery. <laughs> when there's that many dudes. It's like, you're fighting one guy and then another guy's throwing bricks. It's fucking crazy. Like... <laughs> It's nuts. You got to worry about artillery and shit. Like, there's ranged attacks happening. Fucking, 
They're doing, they're doing small, they're doing minor infantry tactics. Yeah. They're fucking scouting. It's, it's crazy. Like two brothers on the roof. You're like, yeah. oh gosh, I wasn't even ready for that. It's nuts. Did you ever gosh. get in an actual like fight scenario with I avoid, enemies? I avoid them at all costs. Yeah. No okay. one wins. No one wins. Yeah. Really? Well, that's the thing. about even if you win, like fighting isn't a matter of who wins. It's about who loses the most. Yeah. Damn. You always lose. Yeah. Yeah. Like gambling. Yeah. A teacher, ma- math teacher, tried to say that sometimes. He's like. Um, he ended like this whole lesson. It was like on statistics and whatever. And the whole lesson wrapped up. It was like he really tried to make this like a lecture. Yeah. Mm. And he ended it with um, like, and if you gamble, you might win, but you always lose. Oh, and that was like the full stop. Yeah. And I was like, but what if you do win <laughs> and then you've recouped the money that you've <laughs> spent? <laughs> I was like, you don't really lose then. Yeah. And he's like, no, you do because you've already spent the money, so you have lost. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I understand really. The concept well, of. Um, the only well, way he, to gamble yeah. is to be corrupt. Yeah, that's the only way. Is to that gamble. the trick? I don't know much about gambling. Well, I mean, like if you've got an in or something, yeah, sure. But I, I don't gamble. I refuse. Okay. I'm not a gambler. You've never been into it? No, nah, I'm a drinker. I don't gamble. Oh, you've got your poison. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Gambling takes away from my drinking money. That's true. Yeah. And the thing about drinking is, if I like buy a beer. I have a one hundred percent chance of getting that beer. Yes, <laughs> yeah. it's a guarantee. Yeah, like, it's no. It, it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> yeah, I know what I'm in for, and I I love it. Yeah, yeah. Right? yeah they're like, what about? Um, yeah, they're like double or another. Uh, like, we'll flip a coin. Yeah, the Ted's. We'll give you this pint for schooner price. Yeah, like, I'm not a gambling man. Nah, it's just like because it, I I don't do it. I don't gamble. I like the surety because. Put it this way, like, I've met a lot of happy alcoholics. Yeah. They're, so some of them are just stoked. That they're stoked. Yeah. They're living it. I've never met a happy gambling addict. Mm. Never. Oh. They're the most miserable cunts alive. You don't think they're, like, 50-50 really happy? Nah. I feel like they're, like, manic depressive the one, or something. The ones that are happy, you're like, oh, he's a pretty happy guy. And then four years later, you find out he jumped off a bridge. Yeah. Every time. They're just hiding yeah. it good. Yeah. yeah. They're That's just true. putting it in here. Yeah. Putting it in there. The old cage. The old cage, brother. Yeah, yeah. I remember I got twenty dollars from a guy at a pub once who won. Yeah. Or oh, probably just like a he was a big gambler. Yeah. He gave me twenty dollars and I was like, oh, it must be pretty pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> that was my introduction to gambling. The I was only like, oh, time okay. I've ever gambled. Well, gambling's cool. <laughs> <laughs> First one's free, yeah. That's- yeah, I'm not a gambler, man. I hate pokies, man. Pokies like are pokies. a fucking scourge of the earth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Blow them up, I say. I worked at a news agency as a kid and would watch people come in. Spend like 300 bucks on Lotto. Yeah, the Lotto, oh, yeah. Damn. Yeah, it was Idiot pretty tax. sad. It's Idiot. like, dude, you're like a pensioner. Should be spending this on prostitutes and drugs. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> you know. But you can win. Yeah, I mean, yeah, sure, you can win. I always win scratchies, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Literally, like, the last seven scratchies I've got, I've either broken either broken even, like, yeah. let's say it was a $5, I won $5, or it's been like $7, but I just forget to cash it in. Yeah, I don't know. Scratchy seem pretty good. Just <laughs> yeah. putting it out. I don't there. know. I don't. They like post like the 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 odds are legislated, so you can just like Google how likely you are to win. Oh, okay, oh. really? Because like they have to follow legislative guidelines. What are the chances for scratchies? Uh, probably not good. Um, it's never good. You know. I know someone who won the lotto twice though. Yeah, but how much? Like the the jackpot? I think, yeah. Oh, it was probably maybe a million and then five hundred thousand or something, or maybe what? three million You're and then not one million. Getting more one, lotto. Uh, one lady, lady, she won it twice. You're not getting the lotto again after you already won. Literally, it's that guy. There's an Australian dude. Yeah, the guy. Yeah, yeah. and he's like, I just I won <laughs> fifty. He's talking about like he won. It was a hundred thousand. If I and then he do, he recreates it. He goes to the same he wins place a car and he wins. Or like yeah. I think he won five hundred grand. Easy. I would, I would have the thing about winning the lotto is if I did win the lotto, I'd want no one to know. Hundred yeah, percent, true. Yeah. No one. You've won it, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> I assure you. I said I want no one to know. <laughs> no one can know. I don't want to deal with it. People asking for money and that's. What are you doing? What are you doing? How are you breaking down winning the lotto? Like if I win the lotto, yeah, I just pay off my shit. Yep. Probably fix my car up. That's it. That's all I want to do. Are Maybe people going to be like, that's, car's looking pretty nice. Well, yeah, probably. They go, hey, you finally got that fucking piece of shit panel beaded, you know? Like, yeah. yeah. We finally got that re-sprayed, but, you know. It's not, a, it's not like a nice, it's not that nice a car, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's not, it's, I'm not driving around in a fucking Lambo or something. It's, what is it? It's a Toyota Town Ace, mate. It's oh, beauty. Beautiful car, but. Yeah. I imported yeah. it from Japan. 
Damn. What? Mm. Really? Yeah. What year? 95. Why'd you... They're, they've got those cars here. Why'd you import it? No, they didn't. They, they didn't release the Toyota Town Ace. They didn't bring it out here. They transitioned oh. to the Trago here, and uh, yeah, this model was a Japan only release. It was the best of the best of that range of car. Yeah, right. Uh, 1995 Toyota Town Ace uh, Royal Lounge Limited. Damn, damn. So they did not bring them out here. I assure you. I don't Royal know much about cars. But that sounds nice. It's Royal, nice. Royal Lounge it's sounds like you do some gambling in that car. <laughs> <laughs> I do the bi- purple seats. Nah, brother, I do business deals in there. <laughs> Just, <laughs> yeah. We pull up, the slide door opens. I got my briefcase. Come in. <laughs> yeah, nah, it's a, it's yeah, it's not. It's slow. It is slow. A as slow fuck. car. It is slow as fuck. <laughs> is, like, it, is it towards the end? You gonna have to. Give uh, it to God soon, or what's no, the situation? No, it'll, uh, <laughs> it's only go, it's a Toyota. It's got one hundred and thirty thousand clicks on it. It'll make three hundred four th- four hundred thousand kilometers on it. Okay, you know, but yeah. it's slow. Like it's a one point six ton car. Yeah, and I, I think it has one hundred and fifteen horsepower, <laughs> which is probably less than a Yaris. Really? Yeah, mm-hmm. big time. Th- like, but mind you, it had one hundred and fifteen horsepower when they built it. Yeah, and that was twenty eight years ago. <laughs> right, it right. probably has like ninety horsepower now. You, know? you getting in problems in Brisbane driving it? You driving too slow? No, it's gonna be speed demons. The more yeah, north people do, like sometimes people are behind you and like, come on, cunt. And yeah. I just have to get the missus to apologise at the back window. Like, sorry, <laughs> like, I, 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 this is this isn't a choice. I'm doing everything I yeah. can. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like I'm really trying. Here, you it must know? be in hell. Are you finding I people drive slower here compared to Brisbane? I didn't. I, like I flew in, so my car's not here. But oh, okay. I, 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 I don't mind driving. I'm don't drive fast anymore. Oh really? I am banned from driving fast. Oh, like, actually banned. Like, you got speeding. My phones? message is banned. Me, like I, I fractured three vertebrae in a Wait, rally. What? I was rally driving at the old man's place. Flipped a car down a hill. Fractured three vertebrae. So I'm, I'm not about that no more. <laughs> Whoa, man! What's going on there? Is that that was like a regular thing you would do? Oh well, yeah, you're just bush bashing and stuff out there, you know. Well, that's what you do after you finish fighting and playing Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> <laughs> you go yeah, I got a bad now. habit of doing dumb shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say you're living a very extreme life, like yeah, you're fighting, you're I'd joining like the it. army. Yeah, you, you gotta, you, well, you know, you gotta have an outlet. And is then it comedy on top <laughs> of that? <laughs> it's so comedy. weird. Yeah, you gotta do something. Yeah. What is it? What's drawing you towards all these like extreme pursuits? I I like them. It's fun. (laughs) They're fun. (laughs) They're fun. (laughs) You know, people are always like, what's wrong with you mentally to do this cool stuff? It's cool. What are you talking about? Yeah. It's great. Rally, like, I don't know if you've ever watched rally driving footage, but it is the peak of motorsports as far as I know. Those dudes are fucking crazy. Yeah. But like, we would just bush bash around the property sort of thing. And yeah. I flipped it down a hill and, yeah, fucked fuck myself up pretty good. Right, you know, right, right. Until he lost a finger, fractured three oh. vertebrae. And then they were like, you can't, like, you, you need, like, bed rest for two weeks. You need to Damn. just, like, they, they, they had to x-ray my spine and stuff. Like I, would, like, I got in the ambulance and they're like, you're not allowed to move till we get the scans back Whoa. in case, like, you've become paraplegic or something like that. You're like, huh? Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. I was, <laughs> I was like, don't worry about it. It'll be fine. And yeah. the scans come back and they're like, yeah, they're just fractures. You'll be okay sort of thing. But they're like, you need to rest for two weeks. Don't go nowhere. Don't do anything. But I did it at Dad's place, which is like three and a half hours northwest of Brisbane. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I got to get home. I got to go to fucking work. <laughs> Mrs. has got to go to work. She can't drive. So two days later, I drove <laughs> home. Yeah. Uh, that was possibly one of the most painful things I've ever done. Like, yeah. the roads out there are bad. So every bump. Oh. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Fuck. Yep. Yeah. I, like, it, I, don't, I don't know if you've ever had, like, the kind of pain where, like. Um, the, ouch. The pain. <laughs> you know when the pain is, like, that sharp and that fast, you black out for a sec? Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. Your brain is just like, nah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, yeah. I don't want to be around for that. I'm going, <laughs> I'm packing it in. I was driving, I hit this huge road bump, and I like... You're like, that's too much. My brain was like, black out, and then I come back a second later, and I was like, oh, well, bugger. <laughs> yeah, the credits start rolling. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the fucker, the Star Destroyer's coming in from the back, like, but yeah. No, it was fine. I made it home, and then I had like two weeks off work. I was absolutely fucked. But I can't From sit that st- drive Yeah, more. I can't, well, I just can't sit still, and they're like, you have to sit still, and I can't do it. I humanly can't sit still. Yeah. Like, so I went to, I, I was sitting at home, I was like, 
fuck this. I got to get out. And I got, uh, I was still bandaged because I got like, I got friction burns all up my leg and stuff because I put my knee into the dashboard and I put my fist through the windscreen and stuff. Oh, so, no um, airbag? No airbag, no seatbelt. <laughs> <laughs> raw dogging <laughs> raw dogging, <laughs> raw dogging yeah. bad yeah so like, but i was like i gotta get out of the house so i like walked to my normal cafe i was back then i was living in town for a little bit so i had to walk to my cafe and i walked in and they're like oh my god <laughs> they're like what the fuck happened to you i was like just make the coffee <laughs> yeah. i won't be answering questions yeah don't speak time. to me before i've had my coffee they're like please just i don't want to talk to no one I'm in excruciating pain. <laughs> it's just like, just make it, please. Damn. Yeah, was that, that was a rough one. And then, like, uh, I, I did a comedy show just, to, like, on the painkillers they give me. And oh, yeah. I, like, oh, you were doing it? Uh, this is during the two weeks as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I was like, I can drive. I was like, I'll get the bus to this comedy show. And uh, I can't remember what the painkiller they give me was, but I was zonked out of my gourd. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I did this set, and uh, they were like, how do you reckon that went? I was like, oh, yeah, it was, you know, it was probably a pretty rough like seven minutes or whatever, and, I was, and they were like, you're up there for like 13 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> like I was, Rushing. I was, I was just zonked out of my God. I was like, I don't know what the time is, man. I'm fucking, yeah. It was crazy. Was it a good set? I don't remember. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't yeah. know, dude. Yeah, but, uh, Goodness gracious. Yeah, that hurt. That was an ouchie. I would, I would put that up there in my all-time ouchies. Yeah. Was that like a, the closest you come to death? Uh, yeah, top three. Top three. Did you black out and wake up as well? Like when it No, rolled? I was awake, man. I, I was awake for the whole crash. Wow. They, people are always like, yeah. does it slow down when you're like, does the time slow down when you're about to, like, when you think you're going to die? Real quick, actually. Yeah. It happens real quick. You're just like spinning in the air. You're like, nah, fuck. That's all I had time to think. I was like, yep, I've done it here. <laughs> do, you th- do you think this <laughs> is it? Yeah, then like, I'm, like I'm, I'm fly- out of here. Flying through the air, you're like, ah, bugger. <laughs> <laughs> Hot dog. <laughs> really made a wiener of this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, top, top three near-death experiences. It's just life sure. flashing before your eyes. It's just beheading videos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they really got that guy. <laughs> yeah, what were, what were the other two? Yeah. I think the, the, the worst one was when I was 16 and I had a, a TIA. Uh, trans ischemic attack. What's that? What's that? It's like a stroke. Uh, oh, like a small stroke. Gosh. And uh, that was scary. Yeah. Because I, I just went to get a bar, a drink out of the tap. Yeah. Like out of the bathroom tap. And the thing about it is, like, you don't feel a fucking thing, right? It just shit gets weird. You don't feel anything. There's no pain. So like, I was getting a drink, and then the whole world started tilting. Like the whole world started tilting. I was like, that's weird. The world's falling over. Because I couldn't, because <laughs> I couldn't feel the fact right. the left side of my body wasn't working anymore. Whoa. So I was just collapsing. But because you can't feel it, you're like, the world is falling over. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you're yeah. like Michael Jackson. Yeah, you're um, like me. I, 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not the problem. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The earth is falling. Yeah, but yeah. Then uh, uh, yeah, I took. I, I was. Just, I couldn't feel or move the left side of my body for like. 20 minutes or something what? like that. Were yeah. you on the floor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't, like, there was no one home to help either. So I just had to, like, raw dog it until I, I, I got the feeling back and stuff. So you're just, you're just lying on the floor? Yeah, yeah. I thought I was going to really. Yeah, I thought I was going to die. I was like, I'm dying. This sucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just dying. I'm dying on the tiles in the bathroom floor because I because I wanted a fucking drink. <laughs> this stinks. <laughs> and like the whole twenty minutes, like you're conscious. You're like, this is the lamest death of all time. I was looking for a knife to make it look like a suicide. Just to, just to make it, just so just so like people had something to fucking talk about, you yeah. know, like. Just try and work up a boner or something. Yeah, some like, kind of you pull your pants down. Yeah, I, I've got to give the folks something to talk about. This sucks. Yeah. Like, this is lame. Um, and it, it's funny, you're getting a drink of water. It'd be funny if you, like, conflated what happened with that. Yeah. Like, I'm never having water I'm ne- again. Man. Yeah, I'm never drinking out of the tap again, I assure <laughs> <Yeah>. you. <laughs> no, it's... Fucking yeah. fluoride. It was, yeah, it was brutal. It was fucking terrifying. Um, sure. what, what was the uh, cause of that? Yeah. They, they can just happen. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> they can happen to anyone, any time. Really? So what was it? Why a stroke, a mini stroke, yeah, or something? Get, is like it a, like a it's like a stroke, but the blood clot in your brain doesn't stick around for long enough to do lasting damage. Basically, what's it called? A trans ischemic attack. Damn, trans ischemic attack. It can just happen to anyone. You can just die any moment. Jeez. Also, and it can kill you. Yeah, yeah. Like if like if it's bad enough, it just turns into a stroke, and they can kill you. 
Damn. Anytime, fellas. Anytime. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime. What, Anywhere. Are the chan- what are the chances? How frequent does this happen? I don't know. Who cares? What it could chan- happen. <laughs> and you were, you were young. You were young as well. Yeah, so this yeah. would have literally kind of changed your outlook on life. It's like, I'm on the <laughs> tiles right now. Could you think? Yeah. We you thinking like, damn, this is... This sucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like uh, this. Yeah, this is not ideal. And then sure. twenty minutes later, you're like, "Oh, there it is." Well, yeah, like I couldn't like move real good or whatever for a bit, and I got a brain scan, and like, yeah, good luck. <laughs> That's all they can do. They're like, "Yeah, you're fine. Good luck." Did I, that change your outlook on life? It's like I don't. I'm gonna tr- uh, approach life a little different now no. because it can all just end like that. No. I could end up on the tiles again. I just internalized that. Oh, that's true. Yeah, you're an alpha uh, male. Yeah, that, you that, That'll, that'll yeah. come back later. Yeah, of course. <laughs> that's going to come back later really bad. <laughs> but, oh, yeah. oh, you're looking up this um, trans... What's it called? Trans... Trans attack. Um, attack. 240,000 people in the United States experience one every year. Damn. And then I think there's, what, like 500 million people. Yeah. Damn. So it can happen. That's pretty low. Yeah. Seems like a lot of people. Yeah, it's like one in a thousand. <laughs> yeah. I've never, I've never heard of it. Which yeah, it surprisingly. sucks, dude. Yeah, well, it's like most people just say stroke, but like it's not quite a stroke. It's not quite a it's stroke. It's like a stro- okay. stroke junior. Stroke, stroke junior, junior. Uh, edging, if you will. Edging. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But yeah, it's just a little fella. It's just like you're not, you'll be okay. I would hate to have like my pants down, or you're in the, you're pleasuring yourself, and then that happens. Yeah, that's tough. That would be terrifying. It's like, let me just get my pants back on. Oh, let me just finish. Yeah, let me, yeah, <laughs> let me finish. Yeah. I wasn't watching that. It just came up like the it is yeah. next, next, next. So the video it ends up with is like I wasn't watching that porn. But yeah, it's like yeah, it could happen. Yeah, you could have an aneurysm anytime. Damn, and nothing's happened since. You are high, at higher risk of a full stroke later, but like it'll be fine. Yeah. Not Goodness. worth stressing about. Goodness, great! It's not in the family or anything like that. This isn't a. I don't know. Like I don't know my family tree. My old, my dad's an orphan, brother. I don't know. Oh, that's <laughs> true. Yeah. Like, I got no medical history. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. so he's an orphan. Um, has he traced back? Was he gone to find his parents or nah. anything like that? Uh, why would you? They left him at a hospital, really? brother. Why would you? Damn. He was born with 11 toes in the fuck's spine. His folks just left him at the hospital. Uh, 11 toes? Yeah. I'll get rid of a kid if you And then they, toes, they, then they cut the wrong one off. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Yeah. They, they fucked it up. They cut the wrong toe off. Yeah. Yeah, crazy. What makes it the wrong one? Well, one of them had bones in it and shit and would, like, oh. grow. And one of them wouldn't. They cut <laughs> the wrong one off. So what, he's got a baby toe now? Yeah. It really? Yeah. Did he get any compensation from that? They're like, oh, damn, no, sauce. Dude, it was 1971. He didn't get shit. Probably gave his dad a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> yeah. Here you go, brother. <laughs> yeah. Well, man, maybe we should, we might Let's wrap, wrap it. Uh, yeah, we should wrap this one. Are you out of here? Thanks so much for coming on, bro. That's all right. Yeah, that Thank was, you very awesome. much. Let Thanks us for know the when free coffee. Yeah, all good. Yeah. Let us know when you're back in the, in the big smoke. Yeah, yeah, sure. When I'm back in the city. What are your plans? What do you have coming up? Uh, I got my show tonight, but this won't air in time. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I'm just doing doing gigs, doing gigs. Hell yes! Yeah. Uh, back in back in um, Brizzy. Back in Brizzy, yeah. yeah. Should be going to Perth a fair bit next year, and nice. come back to Sydney and just gig, gig, gig. Hell yeah! Grind the way. Love what that. What's your um Instagram as well? Uh, it's all ninety o l underscore ninety. Good. I don't oh. post much there, but yeah. That is what it is. Well, there yeah. you go. There yeah, you I go was thinking it. you could have a, a show called uh, On the Tiles. On the Tiles. And it's just... Uh, scrambling on the Tiles. Yeah, scrambling a few on tile the Tiles. long for life. <laughs> oh, yeah. And you well, can like a real dramatic thing. Yeah. It's like a play. You just... You, it, nah. Literally, it starts, you're on the Tiles. This could be a play. This is a play idea. It's called On the Tiles, and it's what went through your head during yeah, those I'm 20 minutes. I'm not writing a fucking play, dude. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing a play. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I don't think it's that important. You know what I mean? Like when you tell people about it, like that must be like the most important thing of all time. It's like, yeah, there's other stuff on. I got to go to work. You know what I mean? Grow up. (laughs) Yeah. yeah. (laughs) Get on with it. You know what I mean? I like that. That's a good message for the people. Just get on with it. There you go. That's the lesson for the episode. Get on with it. Get Get on on with it, it, folks. Never think about it. Never look inside. Keep moving. (laughs) Life can't get you. If you keep moving. And that ocean drive's going to be pretty sweet at 60. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's going to be, man. It's going to be pretty sweet. Yep. Anyway. All right. All right. Thanks, man. Folks. And peace out. Yo. Yo.